Police in New York are hunting for a possible serial killer. And then four of them... The words of the New York City mayor were shackled by caution. While this is not a time for panic, it is a time for mutual concern. This man is one of four people found dismembered, his body parts found wrapped in plastic inside this roadside garbage can. Police saying all were gay or bisexual men last seen at city bars, leading to speculation that a serial killer may be at work. The worst result of a pickup crime is murder. And unfortunately, today it appears that we are indeed faced with such a tragic circumstance. Do people get copies of all of this stuff? There's the, the purple thing, which is the safe bar thing that we're handing out to the bar owners. While police try to determine whether a serial killer is at large, gay groups are fighting back, handing out information at the city's gay bars and dance clubs. We're trying to get people to come forward with information with, about the serial killer here in New York. And second, we're trying to uh, hand out some safety tips uh, for men to think about before they bring someone home with them. Tips such as finding out more about someone before inviting him home. This is about the, the serial killer that's supposedly like going after gay men. I'm from the Anti-Violence Project, and this is just sort of a flyer. If you have any information about it at all, um, we're posting a reward. Hi. I'm from the Anti-Violence Project. This is about the gay serial killer that's going on around. Some in the gay community say pickup crimes against homosexuals are underreported because of shame and fear the police won't do anything violence towards gay men and lesbian women has been going on for a long time and uh, um, I think that the more people have a consciousness about it the more people react against it. New York City police say they've made a substantial commitment to helping solve the murders and the city's gay community has made a substantial commitment to help educate the public. Charles Feldman, CNN, New York.